Rice is an important staple food crop in Asia. Many pests and diseases attack this crop, causing the loss of food and income. The rice leaf folder is a dangerous pest occurring at different crop stages. Unless a farmer identifies the pest at an early stage, much of the crop can be lost. The Sariana Tarnatan Path, I am an ele, got to put the Tower in Tamaga. At the start of the growing season, the crop can recover. But when the damage occurs at the booting stage and no measures are taken, over half of the crop may be lost. The rice leaf folder adult is a brown moth with wavy lines in the center of its wings. The female moth lays oval shaped eggs in rows on the midrib of the rice leaf. The eggs of the leaf folder are very small and difficult to see with the naked eye. To see them, you need a hand lens. Larvae or caterpillars hatch from the eggs. When the caterpillars are still small, they scrape and eat the outer part of the leaf. Older caterpillars fold the leaf, remain inside and eat the leaf. The caterpillars can be seen easily. The young caterpillar folds the leaf and scraps the green tissue. When you unfold the leaf, you can see a caterpillar. The caterpillar is active at night and sluggish during daytime. It remains inside the folded leaf. Leaf folders prefer shade, and so they do more damage where there is shade. Now let's listen to some farmers from Tamil Nadu in southern India about how they manage the rice leaf folder. We approached extension officers and shared our field problems. They informed us that there are three resistant rice varieties and suggested that we grow this to prevent losses from leaf folders. Plant the crop at normal spacing of 20 by 20 centimeters to let in the sunlight. The heat from the sun will kill the leaf folders. To reduce leaf folders, it is important to only use organic fertilizers as nitrogen fertilizer will increase the pest incidence. We used to apply a lot of nitrogen fertilizer to get a good crop, but it resulted in an increase of leaf folders. And when we then used chemical pesticides, this killed all of the beneficial insects in our field. I have switched to organic rice cultivation and now I only use farmyard manure and compost. I have seen a gradual increase in beneficial insects and I also have fewer leaf folders. Organic farming allows me to get a higher income from growing rice. You can also attract adult moths and prevent them from laying eggs by installing light traps. You can make a simple light trap by using two plastic funnels. Hang one funnel over the light bulb and attach the other one below to catch the moths. Make a few holes in the broad top of the funnels and attach them to each other with a wire. Leave at least 2 cm of space between both funnels to attract the moths to the light source. Use a 100 watt light bulb to get a brighter light. Attach a long tube of 2.5 cm in diameter to the bottom funnel so that the moths will fall into the tub underneath. Moths are attracted to light. 
when their fragile wings touch the hot light they get damaged and the moths fall into the tub of water where they drown to kill the moths faster you can add some kerosene or detergent or soap to the water attach the trap to a pole at a height of a meter and a half to 2 meters so that the light is well above the rice canopy use light traps right after you transplant the rice so that you can kill the moths from the moment they appear use one light trap for half a hectare use it from 6 pm to 9 pm after 9 pm more beneficial insects arrive so turn off the light so that you do not kill them If you do not have electricity you can also use a kerosene lantern Besides light traps you can also use beneficial insects to kill leaf folders Tiny parasitic wasps lay their eggs inside the eggs of the leaf folder These wasps are called parasitoids As the wasp grows it eats and kills the leaf folder egg You can buy special parasitoid carts from an agricultural research station or from a nearby plant protection institute When you see the first leaf folder adult moth movement in the field you know they have started laying eggs immediately tie parasitoid cards on the sticks placed in the rice field for half a hectare you need five parasitoid cards the tiny wasps will hatch out of the eggs on the cards and immediately start to attack the leaf folder eggs replace the cards after 20 days and again after another 20 days until there are no more folded leaves and adult moths but there are also some very simple ways to control rice leaf folders and the while ele shurut pulla adhigama irundhuchu adha vandu kattu padutradhukku na in my rice field i have observed many pests So I place T-shaped bird perches in my field to allow birds to rest. Birds eat the harmful insects in our field and control the pest. The birds love to eat the caterpillars of the rice leaf folder. My crop is very good now. Yellow shirt to pull, na puri puri tinge. Ipo na yellow shirt to pull, cutu pulra. Amari anak teri the payro nalla aru. You can open the folded leaf and kill the hidden caterpillars by hand or thorny twig. After the harvest, the leaf folder lives in the rice stubble and weeds. Burning the stubble does not kill the hidden larvae, but it kills all beneficial insects that feed on the leaf folder larvae. So never burn the stubble and straw. You can use rice straw as animal bedding for feed or for some other use. trim and remove grassy weeds from the buns before starting the next crop because the moth may lay its eggs there if there is no rice in the field you can also let animals graze on the weeds before planting your next rice crop during crop growth remove grassy weeds Let us review what we have learned in this video. The rice leaf folder is a major pest of rice. Grow resistant or tolerant varieties. transplant at the normal spacing to let in light only use organic fertilizer 
place light traps after transplanting to capture the adult moths. Once you see the first leaf folder adult moth in your field, place parasitoid cards. Install bird perches in your rice field to attract birds. You can also kill the hidden caterpillar by hand. Control grassy weeds in and around the field. By combining these different methods, you will harvest a lot more rice and make more money. We use simple methods such as releasing parasitoid wasp using a thorny twig, light traps and bird perches. These are very cheap and effective to control the rice leaf folder. We have got a good yield.